It's the roll up, it's the vibes. We're reporting live out of Orlando, Florida at Icon Park with Florida State legend uh, Kenny Shaw at the Raw Academy Mental Health Camp. Super excited to hang out with my guy. Kenny, how's it going, dude? Sure, it's going smooth. I can't call it. Um, I'm a father of one. Um, foundation going good. Um, and I'm learning every day, so just trying to gain and maintain at this point. Man, super impressed by what you got going on. Always, I'm always watching you on socials and you're always involved in the community. Give us a little uh, rundown of what you got going on today out here at Icon Park. Today, just a mental health thing outside of sports where um, we're just trying to get, get the youth together just to implement that. You know, they, they never alone and they fight and um, they always got a, a source to come back to in this, in this battle we call life sometimes. And, you know, I know as the generation gets um, older and older, they, they get to the point where they go into a shell and they feel like they can't open up as much. And that's just, today is just about just opening up and just building relationships and just showing the kids that they, they, we do have some sources in this community that they can come back to. What uh, led you to being so passionate about youth and, and giving back to the community? Shoot, um, I've always learned from my mom. She in the education system to this day, 30 plus years. Um, and I've always um, seen the, the mark she left on her students. So um, as weird as it is, um, after I hung the cleats up, um, I found this to be my new calling because it just, I, I tell the kids, find something to make you happy. And um, me giving back everything, whether it's development on the field or just a word of encouragement um, that make me feel whole. So um, it was a void that I needed to fill. And, the youth definitely are, is filling my void. Okay, okay. Uh, that threw me off a little bit. <laughs> the folk, uh, um, you have more going on this weekend as well. Uh, we're Saturday, we're kicking here for the, the mental health portion of it. What do you have going on Sunday? Sunday, I got a, a back to school clinic um, at D1 Sports in downtown Orlando. And that's just, you know, I, I just try and tackle all areas. I don't, I don't like to hone in on just one area because Every, everywhere needs some encouragement, some, a little pushing. It um, doesn't matter what race or color you are. It, it, it's just about um, how can we get to that next level of, of life, you know? That's facts. Yeah, super excited, man. Um, um, we're here, we're shooting the vlog. We're gonna cover some more stuff this evening, um, but we also recruiting you to, to come along board with the Roll Up Network and do some Florida State media with us, man. So uh, what's, what's your, your, your mind state and mindset uh, with media, what do you think about media? And media is whatever you take it in as. Um, you definitely got to be educated up on it in a bit, um, just because you don't want to get get a, get the the crowd to see a, a negative side of you. But at the end right. of the day, um, I like to keep it authentic and and real. And I see that's not in a lot of media nowadays. Um, so I have no problem doing the media, and if it's Florida State related, so. Right. I'm a little happy this year. We we on top. Um, yeah, 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 I know yeah, you're a Gator, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It is definitely uh, you guys' this year to shine. Uh, a lot of expectations in Tallahassee. You brought in uh, some big time players in the NIL market. Jordan Travis is is, is one of the hot names. He ended the season hot last year. So it is prime time, man. Um, as a rivalry show, we talk a lot of trash. So it's not the best seat for me trash talking this year. But I'm, I'm gonna try to do my best effort regardless. Nah. Um, Regardless of trash talk, it's, it's never an easy game playing you guys. That's fair. Whether it's in Doak or the Swamp. Um, now, with Miami, that's a different different story. They got a little bit more building to do, I think, yeah. in, a, in an honest right. opinion. Um, but overall, I'm just, I'm, I'm just excited to see some football again. Um, I've never watched sports in my off time this much until I hung the cleats up, which is a fun fact that most people don't know. But... Um, I'm excited just to go to some games, travel, do some fan stuff, tailgate a bit. I'm gonna travel to some games. I got some partners here who I'm gonna travel with. One right there. Already, so, already. So we, we rocking and rolling. Yeah. So what's your, um, how does Kenny Shaw approach media? What do you bring different than the average cookie cutter media that's out there today? What what, would, what do you bring different to the table? I just I just say what it is. Um, I don't like to leave anybody out in the dry. I just like to get to the point. I don't like to um, sugarcoat anything because um, at the end of the day, um, 
our youth is on the social media, so why not give them some portion of the truth of what life is? Right. Hey, I'm going through something. Just because they they have to be able to express some things when when the time comes. Yeah, I spoke with uh, Amon Richards yesterday, and we, we were speaking about just media and um, a lot of the things you're talking about with. What, you, what you're building community-wise here with um, some of the philanthropy, I think it's also important and um, uh, very key in our community for representation. Um, on the network, We you look at Roll Up Network or you look at Stadium Miguel, the Georgia podcast, there's a lot of diversity between different races, mm -hmm. different beliefs and different culture, all sitting down to talk about sports. Sports bring people together. Definitely. So um, I think it's very key from a representation standpoint and the moment you start doing Florida State content, yeah. you know, I think you're going to bring something different to the table. Yeah. And it's going to be, you know, expertise when mm -hmm. it pertains to playing the game, expertise when it pertains to going through the recruiting process, mm -hmm. and also just representation. Mm -hmm. You know, a former player in the college market doing your thing, I think it's going to be electric, bro. I think so, too. Yeah. Um, and that is the truth of the matter. Um, and I tell the kids every day sometimes, like when I'm training them, you know, if, if if you're nice to folks at the end of the day, um, they, they're gonna follow your whole career. And that's something that, when it came down to me hanging up the cleats, um, I, was, I went through a very depressive state because that was my identity. And right. um, all along, um, I was building up a village. And so just little things like that, just being nice to people because it's, it goes a long way, you know? For sure. And when you come from certain communities that you only see certain races, um, it, um, it can blind you, so you just tell them from experience that just get out of that mindset and just just try something new. Um, this versatility, um, patience is very big in everything you do, um, and the structure. You know, when it comes to structure, it, I'm learning as I as I'm new into fatherhood that structure is very important, and um, structure in life. Um, goes a long way and you, you'll thank yourself once you build that structure so like I said I'm still learning as I'm going I'm not I'm not one to be like I'm perfect but I'm I'm, I'm still learning man that's such a hard question because I'm a I'm a day-to-day -day guy now and um, like I said in the year of me finding out about my son and hanging up the cleats and going through that time I didn't see all this so um, you, you go day to day and you just take in what you got and try and find a positive out of it, even though that that's tough, um, you'll end up figuring out. So I always like to think that whatever I put my mind to, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make it out. So to answer your question, it's shoot, it's gonna be something positive, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Uh, just the way I, I seen when I when I hit him up with the idea of bringing you know, um, a different Florida State guy on, just taking over th that market, you know. Um, I think any NIL stuff or any player stuff that we do or former player stuff that we do, it's gonna be a level of vulnerability that uh, they'll do with, with Kenny or, or tap into with, ten with Kenny that they wouldn't do with a normal media guy, like even myself. Uh, so if we bring in Florida State guys on or if he's doing Florida State content, I just think we're going to be able to tap into a different level when it pertains to, you know, these guys' mindset, what they're going through on and off the field. It's just going to be a different level of, you know, and getting in touch. You know, it's going to be an empathetic side to a lot of the content that we're doing, and that's totally missing in college football and just content or media altogether. So I think he's going to be able to tap into a different side. Well, the camp, the, the camp um, kind of came to mind. Um, my first year I did a football camp back in, 21, um, I met some ladies who worked with DCF and um, Foster Kid around the U.S., I mean, not around the U.S., around Orange County, Seminole, and Volusia. And, um, you know, I've always been one to um, always, I guess, you got, I got a spiritual eye. Like, I don't, I can't turn a blind eye to certain things. So um, when they approached me about it, um, I had already been um, doing some, some shelter work and just, just jumping the community um, incognito, like, cause I don't really like media in my business a lot. But um, so um, when it came down to this camp, I said, man, this is the biggest thing that I know the youth need is mental health. And um, they just need somebody who can be consistent in their life and just give them, give them some encouragement in, in these hard times that they might be going through. 
So um, I know for sure um, seeing my mom do it, um, how she did it, um, that is, is very pivotal, uh, literally for m young men and young women just to have somebody who can, they can lean on when times get tough. Do you feel as if you can bring philanthropy to the roll-up network as well? Oh, definitely. I, like I said, once I put my mind to something, I'm going to definitely get it. I like you said that because that, that seems to be the trend of uh, everybody we interview. I like, mm -hmm. I like that you guys have a strong mindset. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm not even going to be talking. Me, me chime in on that real quick. Uh, one, of the, one of the things when me and, when me and Kenny was talking, uh, it's been an ongoing conversation about this, this, this whole endeavor. Uh, one of the things I told him is, you know, the appreciation for philanthropy. You know, we big on that. Uh, his, he's a family man as well. So, as you can see, I got my kids with us. Um, and whenever I'm doing anything, whether I'm in Atlanta, I'm in Miami, Tampa, nine times out of ten, the wife, the kids are with me, and, and we're doing things. So, that's also representation. That also means a lot to the community. These young guys seeing that. He's just not an athlete. Yeah. He's just not, you know, a star. But he's also a family man because family is very key to the community as well. We're talking about representation, but the family dynamic is very key to building things. Families build nations. So I told Kenny in the conversation, "Hey, we're not just going to cover sports. We also want to cover you, your philanthropy, your family, in a very, you know, unique way. Whatever's right. comfortable with you. But you know, we're trying to we're trying to represent and do something a little bit different than average media." No, nah, I'm, I'm all with it. Is there anything you want to add tonight before we close it? Nah, hey, I'm just ready to talk to the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a kid today, too, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. All right.